Dehydration is a water deficiency in the body. Your puppy loses water every day during elimination, the exhalation of each breath, and through the evaporation of saliva during panting. Puppies are particularly susceptible to dehydration because they have much less body mass than an adult dog. During the hot summer months, overheating during play can also predispose your puppy to excess water loss. It becomes even more important to supervise your puppy during hot weather to help prevent dehydration. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. A large majority of a dog's water loss is due to urination. These fluids are replaced when the puppy eats and drinks. Making sure that lots of clean water is available helps prevent dehydration. Puppies drink more during hot weather, but during winter you must also be sure that the water bowl doesn't freeze and prevent access to water. Anything that increases fluid loss, such as diarrhea, may also result in dehydration. What causes dehydration? Dehydration can occur as a result of any illness that causes diarrhea or vomiting. Excessive urination that occurs in diabetes mellitus and kidney disease, bleeding or any condition that causes a reluctance to eat or drink can also result in dehydration. Dehydration also can occur in any age group if you don't drink enough water during hot weather, especially if you are exercising vigorously. You can usually reverse mild to moderate dehydration by drinking more fluids, but severe dehydration needs immediate medical treatment. When to see a doctor. Call your family doctor if you or a loved one has had diarrhea for 24 hours or more, is irritable or disoriented and much sleepier or less active than usual, can't keep down fluids, has bloody or black stool, signs of puppy dehydration. The earliest noticeable sign of dehydration is dry mucous membranes in which the dog's gums and tongue are sticky or dry instead of wet. The saliva may become sticky or even stringy. A more obvious sign is a loss of skin elasticity. A puppy's skin normally fits like a comfortable coat, with some room to move particularly in the shoulders. Grasp the skin over your pup's neck and shoulders, and gently lift. When normally hydrated, the skin quickly springs back into place upon release. The skin retracts slowly when the dog is 7-8% to dehydrated. A dehydration of 10% or more is serious, and the skin will remain in a ridge when retracted, and not spring back into place. This is called skin tenting. Capillary refill time CRT. Capillary refill time CRT, is also a good measure of hydration. This is the time it takes for blood to return to mucous membranes after pressure is applied, and can be demonstrated by gently pressing a finger against your dog's gums. This briefly blocks blood flow so the tissue turns white when the pressure is quickly released. When your pup's hydration is normal, it takes less than 2 seconds for the white to return to normal pink pigment. A dehydration of 7-8% to dehydration will delay capillary refill time for 2-3 to three seconds. Longer than 4 or 5 seconds indicates severe dehydration, an extremely dangerous situation. These dogs also exhibit sunken eyeballs, involuntary muscle twitches, and cold extremities. How to treat dehydration. Puppies suffering from moderate to severe dehydration require immediate veterinary attention if they are to survive. Fluid therapy will be required to rehydrate the puppy and return his electrolyte, mineral, balance to normal. Depending on your puppy's needs, your veterinarian may show you how to administer fluid therapy to your puppy at home by demonstrating how to give subcutaneous under the skin fluid. In mild cases where vomiting is not a problem, simply getting the dog to drink water will be helpful. Your veterinarian may prescribe products similar to children's Pedialyte, which also provides lost electrolytes. The underlying cause of the dehydration will also need to be treated. Specific medication to control diarrhea and vomiting may be required to prevent further fluid loss. Other medications, depending on the diagnosis, such as those to manage diabetes or kidney disease, may also be needed, especially in older dogs. 
Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.